Hey, welcome to another episode of Sex Ed with Mel in 30 minutes or less. This brief clip, we're going to talk about longer acting methods of birth control. So things like the Nexplanon, the rod, and IUDs, the Mirena, and the Paracard. So the first one we're going to talk about is called the rod, also called the implant, or the older version called the implanon, or the newer version called the Nexplanon. This method of birth control is a little rod about the size of a matchstick that's coated in a hormone that is inserted in under the skin in the arm between the bicep and the tricep. So show those strong muscles um, right between these two muscle lines right here. And it's inserted in the doctor's office and the hormone that it's coated in, progesterone, is just kind of absorbed through the bloodstream that way and it acts to prevent the body from releasing an egg. No egg. No pregnancy. So if you want to get started on this method of birth control, it has to be inserted at a doctor's office. So you would need to call your doctor or give us a call and we'd be happy to set you up with an appointment for that. So the nice thing about a method like the rod is that it's good for up to three years. So if you know you don't want to be pregnant for at least that amount of time, this might not be a bad method for you. You don't have to think about it every day, every week, or every month like other types of birth control. Once it's in, forget about it. You're good. The rod is over 99% effective at preventing pregnancies, which is good news, but it doesn't protect you against STDs. So if you're going to use the rod as your method of birth control, make sure you also use condoms to prevent any infections from happening. The rod is a hormonal method of birth control. That means that it's possible to have some side effects. With this particular method of birth control, the most common thing that people who use it may notice is that their periods change. It's normal for someone who's on this method to not have a regular period every month, to maybe just have some spotting that's not very predictable, or for periods to stop eventually, usually after six to nine months of use. But because it is a hormonal method of birth control, if you're experiencing side effects that you're not sure of, definitely call your doctor or the clinic who gave it to you so that you can make sure it's nothing serious. This method is a little bit different in that sometimes it can take a little longer to get pregnant when you stop using it, if, it's, if that's something that you want. So if you're thinking about planning a pregnancy, um, definitely talk with your doctor about when you might want to get it removed before you start trying to get pregnant. Some people get pregnant right away as soon as it's removed. For some people it can take about six months to a year for their periods to come back to normal before they can conceive a pregnancy. So talk with your doctor if that's something you're not sure about. So another method of long-acting reversible birth control is called the IUD, which stands for intrauterine device. Looks like this. So with an IUD, it's important to know that this is something you can only get at a doctor's office and it's something that can only be used by the female body person. So with either of these types of devices, because there's two types, um, you would need to go into your doctor's office to make sure that there was no medical reason why you couldn't have whichever IUD you wanted, and then your doctor or nurse practitioner or whoever's inserting it would put it into your uterus um, in, in, a, in a brief office visit, probably under an hour. There are two types of IUDs. The first one is called the Mirena, and it's good for up to five years. The Mirena is coated in hormone, so the way it works is that hormone is absorbed through the bloodstream and it prevents the body from releasing an egg. No egg, no pregnancy. The Mirena is good for up to five years if you knew that you didn't want to have a kid for at least that long. But if you wanted to get pregnant before those five years were up, you could certainly have it removed before then. The other type of IUD is called the Paragard, it looks like this, and it doesn't have hormones. So it works a little bit different. It's covered in these little copper wires that are coiled around the T, that's why it's also called the copper coil, and that copper works to keep the, to keep the uterus in a mild state of irritation, so it's a little bit inflamed, and what that does is it makes it very difficult for any, anything to implant on the side of the uterine wall. So, no implantation, no pregnancy. The IUD that doesn't have hormones, the Paragard, 
um, is good for up to 10 years at a time. So if you knew you didn't want to get pregnant for at least that long, then that might not be a bad method for you. With either of these IUDs, though, it's important that you check the strings if you're going to use it. So when your doctor inserts it, some strings will hang outside of the cervix, and they feel like fishing. So if you use it, it would be important to check those strings once a month to make sure that they weren't longer or shorter or missing. And if they were, to give your doctor a call so that you could go in for an appointment and your doctor could take a look. If you decided that you wanted to get pregnant, you would need to go into your doctor's office to have the IUD removed. If you were using the IUD that has hormones, the Mirena, sometimes it can take a little while for periods to come back to normal before you start to have a regular period again. With the other one that doesn't have hormones, the Paragard, as soon as it's out, it's possible for a pregnancy to happen. So this was a brief 101 on long-acting reversible methods of birth control. If you need more information or have questions, send us a text on the Go Ask Tish text line, visit our website, give us a call to make an appointment, or visit the Before Play website. Thanks for watching.